Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a get ready with me and I'm going to be trying out a bunch of new products. I have a lot of highlighters from Kaleidos Makeup to try out. I have a bronzer from Guerlain, this one right here. I have some Victoria Beckham. I have some brushes from Milk and Sephora. I have a lot of things here that I just want to play in today. I'm going to do a full face. You guys get to see everything from start to finish. So if you want to see my thoughts on the products and how they performed, just keep watching. Starting off with foundation, I'm going to use the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing. I'm using this one because I'm going to be testing out again. I've tried this a few times, but I haven't tried it alongside the foundation. This is the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer. So I'm going to put the two together today to see how I feel about it. I, I don't know. I've heard such amazing things about that concealer and... I'm going to be honest, so far I haven't had the best luck. So I'm trying to see if maybe it just needs to go along with the foundation, which I love. I love this foundation so much. I do have primer on my pores. As I always say, it's mentioned, it's listed down below. And if you're thinking, Mel, you're talking a little funny, or you can tell that I have something on my teeth, I'm running late this morning. <laughs> I am running so behind, and I have a doctor's appointment. And I have started whitening my teeth again. I always get questions asking what I use. I use these guys right here. I brought this out. Nope, it's not sponsored. This is not supposed to be in here. I usually would never put this on camera, but I need to wear them for a week straight and I'm not skipping a day. So these are the Crest 3D White Strips. They stay in place. You can drink with them, like water or whatever you want to do. Um, I really wouldn't suggest drinking anything other than water whenever you're whitening your teeth. It just seems like maybe in my head, I think, wouldn't it, I don't know, get in? I don't know. I don't know. I only drink water whenever I have these on, but they stay in place. As you can see, I'm talking. I don't have the cutest uh, speech right now, but I can still talk with these in and they should be off by the time I'm done with my eyes. These things really do work. I have not whitened my teeth since I got that little gem that's on this one because I've been terrified that it's going to make it come off but I feel like my teeth are starting to go a little to the left so it's time to whiten them again so one week of those crest white strips and it should be good I've already noticed a difference I love them so much every time somebody asks me what I use it's those. Moving on to concealer, like I said, I'm gonna use the Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer from Shiseido. And the shade I have in this is 203, which is supposed to be for light to medium skin tones and a neutral undertone. And I use the shade 260 in this, which is also a light medium and a neutral undertone. And I really feel like this is an actual neutral undertone. This one, I don't know. First complaint I have with it is that I absolutely hate, 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 hate the applicator on this. It's almost like an hourglass with a little ball at the top and then kind of ballish at the end. I just don't like it. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera or not, but this is yellow. It is yellow. So first thing is I don't like the applicator. Second thing is I don't like the color. And I don't know if I should go, I don't want to go too light underneath the eyes and I don't want to go pink. I don't know. I feel like I might have to go in and swatch some of these if I even end up liking it because so far, spoiler alert, I know I usually tell you guys how I feel about things at the end of the video, but I haven't gotten this to work for me yet. And it's very disappointing because so many people have said how much they love it. And I'm like, why can't I get it to work? I have tried it without my under eye primer which makes everything amazing. That is the Becca Anti-Fatigue Primer. I have it on today, I'm gonna to show you this little guy right here. I put just a tiny bit of that underneath my eyes every single day. I love that primer. So I thought, okay, well it's the primer maybe. Sometimes things just aren't compatible. And then I tried it without the primer. I tried it with my Becca powder. I tried it with my Huda powder. And I don't know, for whatever reason, I just keep getting crepey underneath my eyes. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens today. I say that and then it'll be magical today. 
once it's blended out, it's definitely not as yellow, but I feel like I can see the yellow again in person, at least. I don't know. Again, sometimes things don't show up on camera, but I can see that pur purple. <laughs> How do you go from yellow to purple? I can see the yellow again once I set it. Here's what it looks like before I set it. I know I'm going to be baking right here whenever I do my eyes later. So I don't want to have two layers of the Huda Beauty powder. Again, because I'm having creepiness issues with this concealer. So I'm going to go in with a light powder first to set it. And this is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Powder. And I am using Adelium 785. Oops, let me tap this right underneath the eye. Let me know if you guys can see that this has changed right back to the yellow or right after I said it. I feel like I just don't like this color underneath my eyes. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my La Mer Translucent Pressed Powder, Sonia Kashuk Large Powder Brush. I was looking for my La Mer brush and I think that it is dirty because it's not up there, which means it's probably over in the kitchen with all the rest of my dirty brushes. I'm just pressing this into the skin. Tatcha Camilla Goldspun Lip Balm. Before I finish the rest of my face, I'm going to move on to the eyes. I already have them primed with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I am just going to take my finger and make sure that everything is tapped out because it's been sitting here. I could have some creasage. Just make sure. And I'm going to be going in with some Victoria Beckham Beauty. <laughs> Michelle, this is your fault. Michelle Wong. Mm. I saw her using a few products, especially the Lid Lusters, and... I decided that I absolutely had to have at least a couple of the lid lusters and then I picked up one palette. I have the Smoky Eye Brick. This is what it looks like right here. Let me get out. It's tiny. I knew that though because I watched her video. It's little itty bitty. It's really pretty. The packaging is gorgeous and it's not closed because I looked at it earlier. You do get a mirror on the inside. These are the colors. And I'm also going to combine the shadows with at least one of these lid lusters. I have two different shades. The first one is Meek. This is the one that I knew that I wanted to grab because of her. That's what it looks like right here. Oh, so pretty. The other one is Blondie. These remind me of the Hourglass scattered whatever shadows. Kind of a mixture between those and the Marc Jacobs. We'll see how they go on the eyes. All right, I'm going to bake underneath my eyes. I'm going to zoom you guys in. Before I bake, I want to show you guys what the concealer looks like set. I just, I feel like my under eyes actually look dark. And it just looks dry. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and bake. I'm baking with the Huda powder. I just wanted to mention really quickly because I forgot to just a second ago that I feel like this also accentuates my pores, the concealer, not the foundation. Um, so this does help with that, the baking, but it's not going to help <laughs> with how dry my under eyes look. Zoeva227, and I'm going to start off with the lightest and biggest shade in the palette. I am going to apply this right into the crease. And I'm going to start blending upward. This will be my transition shade. Same brush. Now I'm going to go in with this shade. I am going to deepen up the crease with these. I don't know if you guys can see this, but these are basically blending themselves. Sticking to the same brush, I'm going to go in with the darkest shade in the palette. I wouldn't say that this is necessary, <laughs> but I just want to see how the palette performs. So I wanted to see how this color did. I'm just placing this on the outer V, 
and smoke up the outer corner just a little bit. But really, this is going to get mostly covered up, especially on the lid, because I'm going to lay down the lid luster. I'm going to go ahead and just smoke out this outer corner, though. Eason G34, I'm going to take the soft pink and I'm just going to lightly apply this to the very outer edge on the very outer corner. Lid Luster in the shade Mink and an Eason W21. You can apply these with your finger, obviously, but I have long nails. It makes it hard. Ooh, this is nice. Nabla Pointed Crease and the last shade in the palette. I really like this little brush. I really, really do. I'm taking that color and I'm just taking it all along the lower lash line, just buffing it out and smoking it out. Back in with the Lid Luster in the shade Mink and a Wayne Goss number 27S. I am going to get this as close to the lash line as possible. I'll stretch out my face for this. <laughs> then I'm going to go add on inner rim liner and mascara. Now that my eyes are done, I'm going to go ahead and start finishing my face. And I'm going to start off with this new bronzer from Guerlain. This is the Terracotta Golden Land Bronzer. This is the packaging. And when you open it up, it is a little difficult, a little difficult to get the top off. Okay, I'm a little concerned, not going to lie. I haven't even swatched this. It's very gold, though. This is what it looks like. Oh, I don't have good vibes with this. I do not think this, this isn't a bronzer. This is not a bronzer. I, mm, I'm gonna, okay, what I'm gonna do is, is go into my option B. This is the Hourglass Unlocked palette they re-released. This is what it looks like, and I am going to start off, I'm gonna try this out, but I'm gonna start off with a bronzer in here first. So I'm gonna take a mixture of these two right here on my Sonia G Master Face, and back and forth. And I'm going to warm up my face with this first. I just feel like that is awfully yellow. I'm not having good luck with Guerlain, you guys. I feel like I just need to go ahead and buy one that it's just everybody loves. Quit getting the new one because I'm picking out the wrong ones. <laughs> the last one was the Trio, if you guys remember that. Had three different colors in it and oh, it just did. Mm -mm. It's not any good for me. You know what? I'm gonna stop for a second because I completely forgot about these. I was sent these from Milk. It's the Milk and Sephora collaboration brushes. So let me show these to you guys. All right, there are five different brushes. I've got this guy here. This one right here. This uh, this is probably what I will use for my bronzer. This looks like a foundation brush or contour, especially cream contour, which. I don't do this is a highlight and powder brush and then we have a smaller version of that angled one this is it actually has the names on them this is the concealer one this is the setting powder brush I'm just going to take I'm going to go across both of those again and I'm going to use it instead of my Sonia G because I forgot I have this open on the table right here and whew, it's intense I like scented stuff, I really do, but what if it smells like actual perfume? It's a little strong. Ooh, I just like my lashes. I think it's funny that I'm complaining about the Guerlain bronzer when I just put the Huda Beauty pound cake underneath my eyes. I've gotten so used to that scent though, I don't even notice it anymore. I like to take my bronzer from my cheek area and go down 
right around my chin because I don't like there to be a harsh line. I have an indention naturally with my cheekbones anyway. So I just like to make sure. You see that? That's a shadow just from my cheekbone. So I like to make sure I really blend it out and bring it down on my chin and then I always put it right here as well. I have to tug at my ear a little bit. That is mainly because I have short hair, you can see everything. So if I don't really make sure I get in this area, you can see where things stop and start. Short hair problems, I have to make sure I really have to look back here, everything. Things that you can't even see when you have short hair or no hair. I really like the way this looks on my skin. I like the color, everything, of the two mixed. And this brush did a really good job. I am now going to go in with this guy, and I'm a little scared. I am going to take this smaller brush. I'm going to dip in here. Ooh, okay. I'm going to start. Yes, this is a highlighter. This is a highlighter. This is not a bronzer by any means. So I'm just going to buff this on here right at the cheek area because I have a highlighter I want to use. I mean, this is pretty. I like the golden tone to it, but it's not a bronzer. Ooh, so intense. This smells so intense. Okay, but I'm not gonna put this all over because I wanna use something else. I have two new ones from Patrick Ta. I have She's Adorable, this shade right here. And then I also have She's Sincere. This is what they look like side by side. What I'm going to do is put one on each cheek and then even them out so you guys can see the color. I'm gonna start off with She's Sincere. And I'm gonna just gonna go back in with that brush I used for the highlighter. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick up the Sun product. I did wipe off the highlight color, bronzer, highlight, whatever. And now I'm just applying the blush. So this is a color I was wearing the other day. I love it because it's really subtle. And you can build these up. They have a lot of pigmentation, but I don't want to do too much just because I'm going to go back over with the other shade. This color is so pretty. I love that one. Now this one, I'm going to take, I'm going to apply it to the opposite side. And these blushes do have a slight little sheen to them, a skin-like sheen, nothing glittery or anything like that. You know what, I'm not really liking this brush right here for my blush, so I'm gonna get something else. Sonia G Cheek Pro. And there you have it. This one is She's Adorable and then She's Sincere. I'm going to take She's Sincere and take a little bit of that on this side so that I don't have a lighter side and a darker side. just want to even myself up. But I love both of these. I think they're beautiful. Now I'm going to do a little highlighting. I'm going to use two different things though. The first one is from this NARS palette. A blush palette with a highlighter and no orgasm. What? That's amazing. I'm excited about it. Anyway, I have used some of these shades. The shades that are in here are Disco Nights, Final Cut, Amore, Luster, Crave, and Loves Me. And the palette is called the Free Lover Cheek Palette. What I want to do is take this color right here, which is the highlight shade, and I wiped off this brush again from Milk Makeup and Sephora. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this right on my forehead. Let's make like a little bridge action right here. Take a little bit of it on my nose and my chin. And then I want to go in with these. These were sent to me from Kaleidos Makeup and I think these are so cool. These are the Space Age highlighters or they're, I think they're actually called something else. What are they actually called? It doesn't say on the box. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys a little clip of all of the highlighters so you can see them, and I will have them listed down below as to how what order they are in. I love the packaging on these. They're little tins, and they have like this grippy type of feel to them. All of them have a different color, and they are all, as you saw in the little video, they're all different colors. So this one is, Ray Ryder. 
this color right here, which I think is going to look beautiful with this look. So this is the one that I'm going to go in with on my cheek. I'm going to get a brush. Stilazzi Prime 302. I'm going to grab a little bit of this. And I am going to highlight. Oh, so pretty. These are so pretty. I love the color selection that they have. Look at that. Yes. I always get so excited about a really blingy highlight and then I always buff, <laughs> which makes the highlight definitely go down quite a bit. But I really I get excited about this. I just, I like it to be a little bit more blended. But this is so pretty. Going in with my blush brush, no additional product. Just going right around the edge, kind of blending these together. I want to take another one and put it right on the inner corner. So I'm going to take Solar Sailor, and this is a golden hue. Oh, just, oh my God. Okay, another brush, Delium 780 pencil brush. And I'm just going to pop this right on the inner corner. I kind of want to take this on my brow arch as well. So 242 for MAC. And just going to hit the arch area. I'm not going to take it down or anything like that. I just want to hit the arch area. I know you guys know what's coming next. I need to buff. I'm going to use my Sicily powder and my Sonia G. What is this called? The face one. This is my new favorite buffing brush. I love it. All right, so I'm just gonna go on the forehead first. And after I buff everything, I am going to do my lips, or at least my liner off camera because I wanna get really close to my mirror. I'm going to be using, obviously, my set. I'm gonna go in with Beauty Liner. And then I'll come back and I will, why did I say beauty liner? I am in such a rush right now. I've realized like I've got 20 minutes before I need to walk out this door. And I still haven't even changed my shirt or gotten bronzer out of my hair. Anyway, I'm going in with kitten liner and beauty lipstick. But you'll see me applying beauty lipstick. And then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. I applied my kitten liner. Now I'm going to go in with beauty. And just so you guys know. These are now, all of them, the liners and the lipsticks, are available as singles. So this is the finished look. Now I'm going to go through each of the products and tell you guys what I think about them. Starting off with the very first new thing, which was the Shiseido Self-Refreshing Synchro Skin. Pretty sure I said that backwards, but whatever. It's the concealer. I absolutely love the foundation. It's one of my favorites in my entire collection. But I just cannot seem to get this to work for me. Off camera, when I was doing my lips, I was just really frustrated by the way my under eye looked. So I went ahead and added my By Terry Hyaluronic Tinted Hydra Powder in Rosy Light just to help brighten up this area. I don't like the color. For whatever reason, it still looks a little crepey. Luckily, a nice little smoky eye really helps that. It kind of disguises it. But I just haven't had any luck with this. I'm not sure. I'm going to continue to try because I've had so many people say that they love this. But I, aside from the color, the formula doesn't seem to work well for my under eyes. It doesn't matter what powders I use. It doesn't matter if I use my under eye primer or not. So I don't know. I've had the same result every single time. And again, I'm not a huge fan of the applicator. So this for me, as of right now, is like I could definitely do without it. Guerlain's Golden Land Terracotta Bronzer. <laughs> it is not a bronzer. It is 100% a highlighter that is difficult to open. It is cute. Uh, you can use this as a jewelry box after you're done with it. It has a nice little mirror. And then this apparently will, when you're done, you can take it out and use it as a jewelry box. Cute. However, it's just not a bronzer. And I know I've said that to death, but this is so yellow. It does give a really nice glow to the skin. I'm not going to be able to wear this during the winter. If you are fair, this isn't going to be a bronzer and it's not going to look good as a highlight. I think this is only going to look good on certain skin tones. I feel like you have to have a warmer or neutral skin tone for this to work. 
I'm neutral leaning warm. So I feel like I can make this work, but it's just, I wouldn't suggest it personally. This palette, however, where'd you go? Where'd you go? You're hiding. It was on the floor because, you know, I drop everything even when I don't realize it. <laughs> this is not new per se. It's just a new packaging. The Ghost Unlocked palette, so it's not the same packaging as last year. This is gorgeous. I've used it several times now and I really, really like it. If I had to pick between this one and this year's Ghost palette, I personally would go with this one and I do think that this one will work on a wider range of skin tones. I still don't think this is going to work on rich complexions, but it's better than the last one. I still love mine from this year, do not get me wrong, the Ghost Edit, love it. But I really, really, really enjoy this one. I'm glad that I got my hands on this. The NARS palette, I really like this and not just because it doesn't contain their usual products in here, but because of the range they have. I love the color selection of the blushes. I love the highlight. It's not too much. It's more of a lit from within type of glow. And I just really like this palette. And this is something that you guys didn't see on camera other than the highlighter, but I have used these blushes and they are very nice. The other ones, the Patrick Ta, beautiful buildable. You can wear them lighter. I personally, my favorite is She's Adorable, which is the lighter of the two, but I love them both. They're just stunning. I just, this shape. Wait, no, no, no. She's Sincere. I got them mixed up. She's Sincere is my favorite. So this is the one that was a little bit lighter. And this is the darker one. Both of them work for me. They're both kind of peachy, peachy pink, not too peach though. So if you like a peachy pink blush that doesn't lean too pink or too peach, these are really nice. And I really like the texture of them. I like how they feel skin-like without any glitter. It doesn't have too much of a sheen. It doesn't emphasize anything. Really beautiful formula. I am really impressed with these. The next thing are the Kaleidos highlighters. These are really, really great. And they have some really fun colors in there. The blue that shifts, oh, it's really great. And then the green, I would not use the green on my face. It's just a little too much for me, but on the eyes, oh, beautiful. Look at this. You see this? So stunning. If you want to see some of these in action, check out the Fancy Face. She used these. She used them on her eyes. She did this amazing, amazing green eye from Ace Butte, I believe was the palette. Stunning. I am now going to have to check out Ace Butte because the look that she did was killer killer. I will link that video of hers down below if you want to check that out. Uh, what is next? Eyes. Okay. Um, yes, Miss Michelle Wong, I blame you for this. These were very expensive for really what they are, but I'm impressed. And I, I, I might have to buy another one of these. <laughs> these basically blended themselves out. My one complaint is that I don't love the fact that they are all side by side. I would like to have a little bit of a division in there. I didn't have any problems with my 227 from Zoeva. However, when I went in with my G34 from Esam to grab this pink shade, I got a little bit of the two beside it. So smaller brushes are gonna work just fine or ones that are just a little bit more pinched rather than fluffy, but I, it's worth it to me. This blended itself out. I like the pigmentation. I like, I just like it. I really do. So I will definitely end up buying another one of these palettes. They're really small, but I love that. It's not extra. The packaging is extra. This feels weighted. I love, I love, 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 love this enamel finish. It's beautiful. And the eye lusters are no exception. They have that enamel type of top to them as well. Mink is the one that I am wearing today. So you can see that. And then this one is Blondie. And I wanna compare it to one of my Hourglass ones. So when I put them on the eyes, I definitely think that they are most comparable to the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Shadows. And this one is in the shade Smoke. See, I'm just gonna put, I, I can't, I legit can't get in there because of my fingers. This is much smaller than the other ones. Uh, my fingernails, that is. Okay, we're, oh, I don't wanna do that. 
brush. So there's a brush application of smoke. You can see mink is much darker and then blondie is, you know, it's, a, it's like a white gold. It's beautiful. The milk collaboration with Sephora brushes. These seem to be really nice. I know that I'm not going to get a lot of use out of these two right here though because this is a concealer brush and then a foundation slanted foundation brush i typically don't use brushes to put on my foundation or concealer however you know what take that back i'll end up using this one right here for my eye primer i will get use out of this one i have to i have to say that this one i tested it out really quickly off camera and i just dipped into my powder and i went right around my mouth like this this is my favorite style of brush to do that with anything that is dense, a little bit more on the kabuki side. It doesn't really matter of the shape as long as it's not too big and doesn't go over my lips. I like to take that stamping motion, just get a little bit of extra coverage around my mouth. So I like these brushes. This one, I would definitely suggest for certain highlighters. It worked really well for the one that was in the NARS palette, but I wouldn't use this to pick up anything like a gelée type of formula. I think it's gonna be a little bit too flimsy. And it will work for blush, but I would think that it would work just a little bit better for a more powdery type of blush. The Patrick Ta ones aren't super powdery. This I really liked. It blended everything out really nicely. So overall, I think this is a good set. I wouldn't consider this a must have, but they are nice. Anywho, you guys, that is it. I have to say overall, I'm really happy with how everything turned out. I really love my eyes. I love everything on my face other than the concealer. Uh, yeah, so we are doing good. And uh, just forewarning, I'm not going to wear this amazing blazer to my doctor's office. But every time I wait for my favorites to show you guys something like this, it's out of stock. So I wanted to go ahead and wear it and show it to you guys. It is beautiful. It's really well made. I'm going to link it down below. Hopefully it has not sold out yet. This is amazing. I just, I live for it. But yes, no, no, I'm not going to wear this to the doctor's office. <laughs> Anywho, I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.